let me say to start this off, I am wheelchair 21 in this photo of DVDs. And another thing I must say is, why? Why did I have to buy this movie? Why did I have to watch this movie? Why do I fucking hate this movie? Simple. It's called Death Kappa. And it's from the producers of The Machine, the machine Girl and Tokyo Gore Police. Gory movies that they like to make. Comical movies that they like to make. With creepy fucking characters. So creepy. It pisses me the fuck off. Um, the movie is a parody of kaiju movies. And it throws in there other tokusatsu jokes in there as well. Like, uh, like, Daesh, like, Shocker used to be a bunch of Nazis. They make it that the main villains are a group of these Nazis trying to reform Japan to the way it once was before they lost the war and war from World War II and that. And they're trying to make nuclear mutant people and take over the world and strike back at America. And I'm like, okay, okay, you want to go all show a style on our asses, but, you know, this is Heisei. This is Millennium Saga. About to get the fucking shit kicked out of you, yo. Well, the shit hits the fan, and more stuff just happens. Ironically, at the same time, this girl who was a singer in Japan finds out her song sucks, goes back home, and her watches her grandmother get hit by a bunch of freaking loser teens. Um, ironically, the teens that hit, killed her grandmother also awakened the Kappa, but the mummified, which is the cause of how these people were being mutated because they were using the genes of this Kappa from the shrine. And it just gets to this one thing that the fact is they just want more genes to use to make more mutant people. Ironically enough, it just gets weirder, weirder, weirder. There's this burlesque shroud, I like to call her, because she acts like shroud and is wearing this burlesque suit later on. It's just fucking stupid, and then it just pans to like a normal city, and a kaiju battle goes off where they call the monster that looks like a Yermiko, these lizard fish people that were made from the Kappa genes to human genes. Super monster that looks like it's a rip off from Ultraman. They call it the Homongolus. And the Kappa gets nu the nuclear radiation from when the bitch blew up the secret base when they capture the girl who finds Death Kappa. And the Kappa and the monster start fighting and all hell breaks loose. No one knows what the hell's going on. I mean, the movie's just so bad. The special effects are funny, some of the scenes are funny. And just weird appearances are funny, just like, like, they just throw in this abstract character that makes you say, what the fuck was that? Um, I haven't really seen most of these movies, I've seen trailers for The Machine Girl and Tokyo Gore Police, so I, I see it as a funny and sick way of movie. Um, Suzuki Kanigo had nothing to do with this, really, they are more inspired by his movies, and that's why, uh, I found out the difference on the back of these movies are so weird. I mean, this is what the Kappa freaking looks like. It looks like a... It does, I don't know, it looks like a Kappa, but it's just a fucking creepy movie. I hate this movie. I don't even know how to freaking describe this movie because the story is just so fucked up. It's just, ah, oh, this is like the worst hour and a half. I got nothing to say anymore. I'm, just, I'm done. I'm done. This movie fucking sucked. It had funny points in it, it which were kind of comical, like, when the grandmother got hit by the car, the other scenes, and the other shit, the final battle, and the plot that the, there was an American professor called Professor Tanaka, which is really fucking weird, really fucking bad, and it's just bad. The movie is bad. That's all I gotta say, YouTube. Bad movie. Never. Never. Unless you want to watch crappy movies, go watch this. I hate this movie.